Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about Red Hat OpenShift 4.11 installation methods. This is session three. In our previous session, I talk about why do customers choose enterprise grade Kubernetes platforms and Red Hat OpenShift is the one of the enterprise grade Kubernetes platform. And the second session, I talk about the Red Hat OpenShift basics. And today I will talk about the installation methods. So before going to installation method, we have to understand few key questions. So how many ways to try Red Hat OpenShift 4.11 and what are all the Red Hat OpenShift 4.11 supported providers? That means on which environments we are managed to run this Red Hat OpenShift and what are all the Red Hat OpenShift 4.11 installation methods? OK, so let's start with the first point. See. If you want to run the Red Hat OpenShift or if you want to try it in your test environment, there are three methods. So first one, developer sandbox. It is available directly from Red Hat website. So in instance access to your minimal pre-configured environment for development and testing. So this is a trial edition only and there is no cost and it's available for a 30 days. OK, and requirements none. You can directly access from your Red Hat website. OK, and another method manage services. So this manage services we consider is like a fully managed Red Hat OpenShift dedicated trial cluster with self service sign up and cluster provisioning in your cloud account. So cloud account means this Manage Services Trial Edition, you can run it on either AWS platform, Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud platform, but we require any one cloud account to try this version. And this is also there is no cost and the trial length is for 60 days. And we also have self managed method. So even self managed, if you want to try, we have options. You can try it on a Red Hat open content platform in the cloud or another method on your computer or in your data center. And here also there is no cost and trial edition period is 60 days and requirement either you can run it on existing infrastructure or any of the cloud account. That means it's not only AWS and Google, even if you have other clouds also you can try. OK, so this is the three options and these options uh, if you want to verify from directly from website, let me quickly log into lab system. Let's log into a Red Hat website. Just type in the Google Red Hat OpenShift. If you type Red Hat OpenShift and enter. Yeah, it will redirect it to the direct Red Hat website. The first page it says Red Hat OpenShift makes container orchestration easier. So just open this link. See, when we launch this page, you can see Red Hat OpenShift information. See, Enterprise Ready Kubernetes Container Platform. So this is like a, we have a try it option. So just click on try it. See, these options only I explained in our slide. See, developer sandbox, manage services method, and self-managed method. Suppose developer sandbox, you can click here and you can try it. And if you want to try the second option, manage services, we minimally need a cloud account. And self-managed one, just click on start your trial. So when you click on start trial, it will redirect it. We have to register when you any one of the Red Hat login account. So you can register one account. Let's say we can give our channel email ID and click on next and enter the password. So once we log into the Red Hat OpenShift website, OK, it says your product trial expert because recently I tried the trial edition. OK, we'll try the what next. So click on OpenShift trial cluster. See the direct website is console.redhat.com. So once we log into the Red Hat hybrid cloud console, see currently it says that no OpenShift cluster to display. So now you can just click on create cluster. 
see when we want to create a open shift cluster we have a mainly three methods you can run it on your local environment for local environment also it's providing a download option you can run it in your local windows system or macintosh operating system or linux so these three os flavors we can download the relevant binaries and you can try it and during the installation it requires a secret and that secret also available from red hat website okay and even the documentation also they provided and another option if you go to the data center tab within the data center tab we can run it on here directly on bare metal different models of bare metal x86 or arm processor and you can run it on a private cloud environments like azure stack hub ibm z and power and it is all the pre-existing infrastructures and you can also run it on nutanix aos red hat open stack red hat virtualization vSphere, and platform platform agnostic that means any of the pre-existing infrastructure see the, all this environment within the data center we can run the open shift cluster but normally we, whatever the customer environment you have like uh, either a red hat open stack or red hat virtualization or if you have vSphere or any of the other platform depends on your customer infrastructure platform you can choose the relevant one for example if i click on vSphere you can see vSphere selected installation type we have with three methods of installation assistant assisted installer installer provisioned infrastructure in short form ipi method and upa user provisioned infrastructure method so within these three methods we can install on vSphere platform and officially red hat says this ipa method is the recommended okay similarly even if you go back you can also see for your other platforms like red hat open stack there are two methods are available ipa and user provision infrastructure method even here also ipa method is a recommended method so like this we can choose the relevant options and we can install the red hat openshift container 4.11 and even the cloud environment if you go to the cloud tab you can run it on our public cloud so you can run it like a ibm cloud or azure or microsoft uh, Amazon AWS and even for other cloud platforms also it is supporting okay even you can run it on a Google Cloud okay and if you want to download you can see the all the download relevant Red Hat OpenShift tools you can find it from the same website and develop a sandbox also if you want to try you can try it without any infrastructure you can directly connect it to Red Hat official developer sandbox and you can test this Red Hat OpenShift container platform okay so there are multiple ways to we can try it out okay uh, let's back to the slide so hope you understand these three options either you can try develop a sandbox or you can go with a if you have any cloud account you can try the second option or the third option is you can use a self-managed one okay and another point is what are the Red Hat OpenShift 4.11 supported providers? So I just now we verified from the website. So here I'm giving a quick overview. What is the supported providers? Whenever we can see bare metal means Red Hat OpenShift container platform, it's supported for a bare metal hardware like HPE, Havlet Packet Enterprise, or you can run it on a, any of the other hardware vendors like IBM. And even to run it on a hardware direct bare metal, we have to install a Red Hat operating system like RHEL 9 or 8 series versions. When you run the RHEL 9 and on top of the RHEL 9, you can run the OpenShift container platform. And another method, even Red Hat also providing RHEL core OS. So even RHCOS also, you can run it on bare metal. On top, you can run the OpenShift container platform. And in addition, there are other platforms. Just now we verified from the official website. I'm just highlighting here. We can run it on public clouds, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, and even we can run it on private cloud environments, Azure Stack, VMware vSphere, Red Hat OpenShift platforms. And even you can run it on Red Hat virtualization and not only Havlet Packet Enterprise bare metal hardware, you can run it on other vendor hardware also and IBM Power System, IBM C. Not only limited to this public cloud, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud, even OpenShift platform is supporting for other public clouds like IBM Cloud and Alibaba Cloud as well. And recently, Red Hat OpenShift is also supporting for a Nutanix hypervisors. So this is the new addition only. In our previous 
4.10 or 4.8, it was not available. Recently, Red Hat announced it's supporting for Nutanix AHP environment as well. And the Red Hat OpenShift versions are earlier we have 1, 2, 3, and even 3, 3.0 until 3.11, and later they released the 4.0. Now, latest version for Red Hat OpenShift container platform is version 4.11 is the latest version. Okay, now let's talk about what are the Red Hat Open 4.11 installation methods. So as we see from the Red Hat website, there are mainly high level within the 4.11 version. We have four installation methods. It depends on your environment. Some environment may support for your two methods and some environment support for your all four methods. OK, so let's say the first method in short form, we call it as IPA method. A full form for IPA is install of provisioned infrastructure. And this IPA method is completely full stack automation method. Even Red Hat also recommended to try with a IPA method only. And it's because it's a completely auto provisioned infrastructure and Kubernetes, Kubernetes like and enables the self service. And the second method is pre-existing infrastructure, whatever the infrastructure you have, either your vSphere or Red Hat OpenShift virtualization or Red Hat virtualization or OpenStack, any pre-existing infrastructure, bring your own host. That means we can customize and we can configure the host and you choose infrastructure automation, full flexibility, and it is also integrate with independent software vendors solutions. This is this method we call it as a UPI method. OK, user provision infrastructure, but compared to UP and IPA, IPA, we no need to provision the VMs, uh, VMs also. It's automatically provisioned uh, the completely auto provisions. But here we have to bring the master nodes and worker nodes manually, and then we can implement the infrastructure automation. OK, and the third method is interactive connected assisted installer method. So assisted installer means we can interact with any of the Red Hat folks to build the assisted installer and we can use host hosted web based guided experience and agnostic bare metal. That means any of the pre configured bare metal, we can run this container platform. And at present, this method is supporting only for the vSphere platforms only. And even this method, they are also providing a image file ISO driven. And another method is here is interactive connected method and here is interactive disconnected method. Maybe most of the time this may be go for a dark sites kind of infrastructure. And here is instead of assisted installer, there is it's specifically for a agent based installer. Currently it is in the development preview. In our previous OpenShift editions 4.8, 4.9 and 4.10, this option is not available. We have only three methods, IPA, UP and assisted installer. But from latest version 4.11 onwards, they introduce this agent based installer method. And this is like a disconnected bare metal deployments and automated installation via command line interface. And even in this method also, they provide a image file ISO driven. OK, so this is the Red Hat OpenShift container platform installation methods. But as per Red Hat recommendation, always recommend this IPA method. So in our latest sessions, I will show you a couple of methods to install the Red Hat OpenShift container platform. We can try develop a sandbox and we can also try our self managed Red Hat OpenShift container platform. OK, so that's it for today. Thank you. And if you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Garage channel. And if you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.